Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be making some Christmas bells. We're using Dollar Tree items here today and it costs us about $5 each for these bells. We saw these cute waste cans at the Dollar Tree and thought they'd make really cool bells. And I decided to paint them silver. Now we have to make some bows. To make this craft even easier, you could probably get some pre-made bows at the Dollar Tree. Your support really helps our channel. Please help us by hitting subscribe and like. Here I am making a very simple bow from some Dollar Tree ribbon. Once you have your bow sort of roughly laid out, just check it for scale. Then wrap it up tight with a chenille pipe cleaner. I'm certainly no master at making bows. If any of you out there have a good resource for me, just put them in the comments below. Once you have your bow tightened, just bring the ends to the front and then we're going to be attaching a Christmas pick. And the Dollar Tree has a great selection of Christmas picks. Then bring your chenille to the back. Then trim off your excess. Then take the ends of your chenille, put them through the holes. And twist them together on the inside. Nice and easy. Then just fluff up your bow, cut the other end off accordingly. Once that's cut, just fold a little bit in half and cut a little diagonal across and you'll get the nice little triangle end. Now we're gonna be using some Dollar Tree ornaments to make the clapper. And we'll just attach that to the end of a chenille tie. Once you have that all nice and straight, just feed it up through the inside of your bell. Then you'll just want to check your length and placement. Then you just bend the end back through the top and twist tight on the inside. So I'd really like your opinion on which one you like better, this one or the next one. Now I'm making a second bow for our second bell with a few modifications. So I'll be making two of these bows and putting them both together to make a double bow. To add a little more pizzazz, I'm making a sheer ribbon bow. Just wrap two or three loops around and round we go. Just pinch in the middle and tie it tight with another piece of chenille. Then we'll take our other bows and we'll attach them all together and tie them tight in the back. Then add your Dollar Tree pick. Take the chenille ends, put them through the holes about an inch below the top and tie them all together in the back. As you can see, this bow is way fluffier than the other one. Now to make your hanger, just take your chenille, fold it in half, stick the little looped end through, put a little hook in it, then just pull it through and tie up the ends. The bows are pretty heavy, so you'll want to put your tie somewhere closer to the actual bow itself. On one of them, I decided to add a little bit of Christmas snow. That gives it a nice frosted little look. There's a number of ways you can hang it. Each side of your front door, in the middle of your front door, from a wreath hook on your eaves trough. A whole row of them would look very festive. So which one do you like better? The frosted double bow or the single classic bow? Let us know in the comments below. If you're looking for a really easy craft, this is it. Thanks for crafting with me today.